Hey everyone, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my YouTube channel, A Cup of Sims. Today I decided to build again in The Sims 3 and kind of went for a modern farmhouse vibe. So this build, as you will see, it has a lot of like, on the exterior it just uses white with some dark wood accents. And it's very simple but also really pretty. I actually had a lot of fun building this. Um, I also like the roofing as well but... Yeah, so this house is actually primarily made for a family, so there's a nursery and a bedroom for a child or teen sim, and then of course like a master bedroom for the parents. And I try to use custom content to minimum for this build, so if any of you are interested in potentially downloading this, like you'll be able to do that without um, necessarily like getting a bunch of CC in your game, and you could easily just take that out, because... There's nothing worse than like not wanting so much CC in your game, but then like downloading a build and then like having everything revert to just some random objects that don't even match because you don't necessarily have that CC. But if you do want the CC, it's there. So <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, I'm using Wallapa Valley, which is a custom world on Tumblr for The Sims 3. I'll link it down below, and I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I've been having a lot of fun building and decorating in The Sims 3 lately, and even though I might not be Little Simsy status, like, I'm still, like, really happy to kind of, like, rediscover my love for The Sims 3. I've primarily been playing The Sims 4 for the past few years, but kind of just got burned out from it. There's, I feel like there's only so much you can really do in The Sims 4, while The Sims 3 almost has, like, endless possibilities, because, like... The Sims just are much more in depth and have so many traits that just influence their personality. And compared to The Sims 3, The Sims 4 it just starts to seem dull. So, really happy about that. I also recently merged all my package files together. Um, so, my game is running a lot smoother than it did. I actually have a higher end gaming PC, and I was getting frustrated because The Sims 3 was still lagging. And I know that The Sims 3 wasn't coded the best. Um, and that causes a lot of problems initially, but I felt like the game should have been working better on my PC. So I'm super stoked to figure that out. There's like nothing worse than trying to really dive into The Sims 3 and um, really just getting a bunch of lag. I'm kind of impatient, so for me that was really frustrating. I've also been doing the Zodiac Legacy in The Sims 3 recently on my personal time, um, and I'm already on Gen 2. And if you're ever interested on that, the rules are on Tumblr, but it's really easy. It's like the typical um, Legacy challenge for The Sims, but then there are certain rules, and each generation is like one of the Zodiac signs, so it's like 12 generations total for the 12 signs. And there's def other different requirements you have to do. Um, per the signs. So if you're really if you're interested in doing a new type of legacy challenge and possibly like astrology, um, although you don't necessarily have to to do that type of challenge, then like highly recommend checking that challenge out. Yeah, but as you can see now with the house, I figured out the layout um, and you'll see, but I actually uh, didn't place a door on the bathroom downstairs, but I did go back and fix that. Just so you know, I am aware that there is not a door there. It is fixed. If you download this, I promise there will be a door there. But I also try to use a lot of warm tones for this particular build and a lot of neutrals as well, just because I feel like it fit the world um, and the exterior of the house really well. Like, this doesn't seem like the type of house that would be really bright everywhere. Yeah, and I also like opted out of a foundation with this home too. Um, I actually got the inspiration for this build off of a photo I saw on Pinterest and I was kind of happy to see like a house without a foundation because I feel like most of my houses always have foundations and it's nice to really switch it up. And now moving on to the kitchen, you can see we are also using a lot of neutral tones. I use kind of a darker wood even on the cabinets as well. Um, and some of the stuff I put in here is CC, like those chairs, for example, but you could totally just like swap those out for different bar stools and color them white like those chairs and it would still look really good. I believe the table I used is CC as well, but maybe not. Actually, no, I don't think that one is. I think, I, but those chairs are. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, that's the kitchen. I'm not the best on commentary. I'm very new to this still, so I'm like trying my best. Hopefully this isn't too dull. Um, also, if you guys like have any suggestions in the comments, uh, please leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear some constructive feedback on how to improve my voiceover or my videos. 
Um, I use OBS to screen record in my past two videos I actually uploaded to my channel. I realized that the very bottom of them was cut off because I thought I set the resolution correctly. Turns out I didn't. I was really close, but it wasn't completely on point. So I fixed that. So thankfully this video wasn't cut off at any parts. And I actually did end up adding a door to that corner that I just put the dog bowl by. Um, you'll see in a minute that I put a picture right there for now, but I moved that picture over and then add the door later. Um, so you can actually access that bathroom. I also made sure that this uh, particular build would be a, like compatible for having a pet in the household as well. Because I don't know about you, but I literally always have a dog or, and a cat in my household. And I have a cute little Staffordshire Terrier lab mix puppy in real life. So I'm super stoked on having like any type of pets in my Sims household. I actually recreated my dog recently um, in the Sims game and that my dog's in the legacy household I'm currently playing. So that was super cute. And actually a video idea I have for the future is like potentially recreating my real life puppy in the Sims 4. And I would do it in the Sims 3, but the Sims 4 just has like better um customization for creative sims content also i keep saying i'm um a lot and if i start saying like i'm very sorry i'm from southern california it's a thing down there it's really annoying to other parts of the world i know i'm trying my best i'm also very tired it's been quite rainy lately and i just got back about um, for a walk with my little puppy so yeah i'm just trying to voice everything over to the best of my ability and now as you can see we are moving on to the living room i used a couch that is in one of the expansion packs i believe and some of those plants are custom content and the tv is custom content as well and the accessories are custom content and okay so i guess a lot of the living room is actually custom content but that desk and that computer is not but again this would be the type of build that you could easily swap things out and just change the colors to match the things that are still there like they're supposed to be but i actually really ended up liking this living room i love the windows behind the tv i love the cut the very neutral colors with the touches of blue i love that custom lamp i had a lot of fun doing this build this would be a type of living room i'd be perfectly content having in real life um, in real life a lot of my furniture is very neutral as well I like touches of color, but I just feel like I, I just don't like going too crazy. I like to be able to pair things easily. Um, but yeah, I also like the little like entryway I did as well. I just put those basic photos by the stairs. I could have probably added a bit more to that, but I just didn't want to like add too much to the room to make it seem overbearing in a way. Like The Sims 3 is not necessarily the best for cluttering like The Sims 4. All right, and now we're moving on to the bathroom, and then in a moment, I'll realize that I totally forgot a door. <laughs> I'm, that's not a dungeon to kill your sims in, I promise. Like, there is a door that you can't get in and out, although you could make it a dungeon if you want to. I'm not judging you. Yeah, so I also kept the bathrooms really simple in this game as well, because they're sm on the smaller side, and I just didn't really see a need to decorate them that, that much. Also, some of the patterns, as you can see right now in this build, are custom as well. But again, you can easily swap those out if you want to. I'll actually, I'll have a package file and the Sims 3 pack of this particular build linked down below. So that way you guys can like decide like if you want to automatically download the custom content or if you just really want it without all the custom content. So all the furniture in here except for the pattern on the bed is, well except for the pictures as well, is compatible with no CC. Yeah. And this is the master bedroom. I kind of went for a, a gr or wow, I can't talk today. I added a green tone upstairs. Um, just I love the color green. I think it's so relaxing, like light blues, light greens. I am all for it. I also have a lot of millennial pink stuff in my particular house. That was like really popular about a year or two ago. Don't know if it still is, but it probably is. But yeah. But I remember, like, even when I used to play The Sims 2 back in the day, I would actually always do, like, green living rooms and stuff like this, which is kind of funny. I just, like, really find this color to be soothing. And now we're going, moving on to the master bathroom. Again, it's not anything super fancy. I think I add, like, a rug <laughs> and a mirror and maybe some toilet paper on the side. But can't let your Sims have the toilet paper shortage. You know, am I right? I Okay, I feel so... If you're watching this in the future right now, like... This is the this is when the coronavirus is really starting to outbreak everywhere and people are hoarding TP and everyone's staying home. Like I'm personally working remotely for the next month and I'm also all my classes are suspended in person as well, which is insane. 
Um, I don't even think I'm going to get my commencement, uh, which is kind of sad, but what are you going to do? I'm just happy that everyone is staying safe and staying healthy during these trying times. Yeah, but anyway, like, I feel so terrible for all of the elderly people that cannot get toilet paper or supply supplies properly right now because everyone wants to hoard everything and then a lot of them are also like scared of getting the coronavirus right now the elderly people i mean so they're even afraid to go out and it's like it's tragic that when they do have to go out if they don't have anyone to go for them it's like they can't even find the supplies that they want so i'm really happy to hear well at least here in america i don't know how this is in other countries per se right now um so I'm happy to hear some grocery stores are at least opening early now, specifically just for elderly people, which is good. But still, like, I really don't understand why everyone's hoarding TP. Just take a shower if you run out of toilet paper. It is not that hard. Save some for the people that need it. Really frustrates me. <laughs> but anyway, here we are moving on to, like, the teen bedroom in the house. Um, it could be for a child as well. I put a little giraffe there, even though it was kind of intended to be a teen room. Um, I am 23 years old and I still have a few stuffed animals that I adore. So, hey, nothing wrong with having a stuffed giraffe in the teen's room. Um, that map is also custom content. And again, I added some of the plants in this room that were custom content as well, as you will see. Also, I really, I downloaded these planters recently, um, that are like cute little animal planters on tumblers and I really love them, but I don't know what like type of plants to actually put in there. So I kind of leave them empty for now. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just using a lot of neutral colors in the build. I don't know how people do voiceovers for really long periods of time. Like sometimes people do voiceover for 30 minutes and I'm like, how do you even talk that much? And I get that it probably becomes easier as you like, oh see, I'm saying like all the time again. Wow, California, sorry. Um, but I, I believe that doing voiceovers would become easier the more you do it, so I do get that. But like for now, I'm like, wow, I'm so new to this. Um, but yes, now we're moving on to the exterior of the house. I kind of kept this simple as well, and I tried to find trees that fit in with the environment, but also stood out at the same time because I didn't want the house to completely blend in with everything. Um, but if you want to add a little bit more plants to your particular lot, if you download this, that's totally fine by me. Just, yeah, I would actually love to live in this house personally. I think it's super cute. I really love modern farmhouses. I actually like built one that I didn't do a speed build for and it got like over a thousand upvotes on the Sims subreddit, which was really cool, especially since it was a Sims 3 build. The Sims 3 doesn't get that much love on the regular Sims subreddit. So that kind of inspired me to start doing this channel uh, because I realized that people actually do like my content if I execute it properly. So that, that was like really nice. It's like, I'm honestly stoked to finally be doing this. And yes, like my content might not be like grade A quality right now, but hey, it's like, I'm learning as I go and I'm learning a lot along the way. One thing I really wish The Sims 3 had though was like um, accent, I don't know what to call it, but like borders or accents I can add to like the roofs or like trimmings. Cause I feel like it's just, everything just always looks so plain on the roof unless you like change the color. I literally don't know if that makes sense or not. Yeah, but I'm almost coming to the end of the build now. So I'm just like touching up a little bit of the backyard area and adding a few benches. And I also had to add a hot tub because who doesn't love a hot tub in The Sims? But I didn't get like too creative with the backyard. It kept it kind of simple. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're about to go to screenshots in a minute, which is crazy. The speed build actually went by pretty fast. Um, but yeah, I also added some string lights, which I believe are custom content as well. I love string lights in real life and I decided to be pretty cozy for your sims. And yeah, I added a few more custom plants again. And then I think I added a ball for a dog outside. Yes, it did. There you go. Yeah, but now we're moving on to screenshots. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.